Hey Les Rose Squad, this is Pixie from Pixie Moons, you already know. <laughs> I'd like to thank all of you for being here. Thank the patrons. Thank you for joining also on the other communities like Instagram and TikTok. If you are not part of the Spirit Squad and you would like to be, please check the links in the description box. Make sure you subscribe hit the bell because we often have uploads on this here channel and i'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet this is the reading for the second full moon that we're gonna have in aquarius so if you want to know more about that full moon by all means check the previous video i made about that the previous pick a card all the readings are timeless by the way Whenever you catch it is when you were meant to watch it. Like I said, this is going to be short and sweet. So it's one card. What do you need to focus on at this moment in time? We have a motivational mantra and the answer to a yes and a question. I'm going to put on some music so you can meditate for like 30 seconds. If you need more time, of course, you can pause the video. I'm also going to use the sound selection that I used for the new moon in Leo. So let me know how you guys like this. Remember that energies are always in motion. Nothing is set in stone. Only take what you vibe with. And remember that you have free will and that is a beautiful thing. I'm going to drop a thumbnail right here. So without further ado, let's get into it. Pile one, if you selected the pile with the pink paper on top, that is the answer to your yes and no question. We're gonna check that up at the end. Your card is 12, that's the zebra. Okay, what you should focus on at this time is your perspective, how you view things, uh, your beliefs, perhaps your belief system, but yeah, like um, kind of reassess the things that I want to say you take for granted or that are part of your life, the things that you kind of like you've always been functioning that way, um, opinions that you have, are they really yours? Where do they come from, basically? So remember that nothing is always black and white. Because of the 12, uh, I'm getting hangman vibes, some of you might have been feeling stuck in kind of the same pattern pattern where like nothing is growing or nothing is moving forward and perhaps this has to do with blockages uh, yeah like your beliefs around money or love or security whatever the case may be if you've been feeling stuck for a while, it would be a good idea to like ask yourself why and where, where it comes from. Because for now, this zebra, to me, it's looking towards the past. So yeah, it's, it's time for a reassessment, I want to say. Reassessment and be ready to move forward to... Uh, to do a 180 and move forward. So for some of you, you have to express 
things because this is blue, this reminds me of the throat chakra. You might be an air sign just because throat chakra and also this is the, that's going to be a full moon in Aquarius which is an air sign. So, but regardless of like when you watch this, some of you, you have something to say. Maybe you don't know how to say it. Journaling would be good. Maybe uh, using your phone as a recording device and just picking into your phone the things you want to say. Some of you, you might want to record a video, not necessarily post it, just record a video. Like, get a free flow in and you know, talking about all the things that are like weighing on your mind and on your heart. So really you have different ways of doing this, but you will know for sure. You will know what, what vibes with you. For some of you, you might want to make a list and burn it because again, it's, it's a full moon. So yeah, but whatever wave, whatever vibes with you the most, Again, listen to your intuition, listen to your body. If you're thinking of something and it's kind of pulling uh, in your stomach and you're getting like this queasy feeling, don't do it. <laughs> you already know. What is your motivational mantra for this full moon? You are, she can't read, you are being supported, yeah. You are being supported. You probably already know. Oh, this is also blue, by the way. So definitely something with the feelings, expressing yourself. <clears throat> For others, I'm getting that you will have confirmation about something. So it would be more like your intuition, but you will get confirmation about something or someone that you were suspecting. And it's not really going to come as a surprise, but yeah, remember, you are part of the universe. The universe got your back. And also, you are the universe itself. So, it's kind of a complicated plot, but not really. <laughs> yeah, try and see in some ways, in which ways you have been stuck. There's a lot to do with social constructs and outdated beliefs. Pause the video if you need to. This is the answer to your yes and a question. The answer is, listen to your intuition. What have I been saying all this time? You guys, this is nuts. Well, I have nothing else to say. You guys, power one, that was your reading. I hope it resonates. Let me know. Drop a comment, drop a like if it does. I would like to take the time to thank your guides my guides and spirit for this beautiful message. I will see you again very soon, but in the meantime, remember, you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. <laughs> power 2, if you choose the power with the blue paper on top, that is the answer to your yes or no question. Let's see what you should focus on at this time you have 16 with the dandelion oh. okay you're focusing on something that you've been growing look we go from a seed to a full-blown flower and stages in between uh, well for some of you this has to do with um personal development because I'm being attracted to the purple over here. It talks to me about the third eye, crown, even. I want to say you guys might be an Aquarius. I don't know why I feel called to say that. Um, okay, purple, amethyst. Amethyst is the Aquarius stone. But again, you don't have to be. You could also be a Leo with this dandelion. But again, you don't have to be Sun and Rising Venus, my dudes. But yeah, this is very sweet. This is something that you've been, I want to say, trying to manifest for a while. This is going to be quite a powerful full moon. 
as all full moons are but I feel like this one is very special because it's the second one in Aquarius so yeah focus your energy on the things that you want to grow the things you want to manifest for some of you this is going to be about making room for those things to show up and being called to say um cleaning i mean obviously it's a full moon but yeah cleaning emptying your drawers anything that you don't need anymore that you don't use get rid make room make some room seriously and invite things into your life speak it make your petition write your list whatever the case may be and read it out loud to the moon to the universe i mean if you can but i think if you whisper it's going to be also okay <laughs> just say it in your head but yeah, I feel like you guys need to make room and call things in. That's going to be the, the main point of focus for you guys. For some of you, this is literally about growing plants and um, flowers and vegetables and such. <laughs> so again, a very exciting times. But there is something growing, something coming to fruition. And you will know what it is. It's going to be different for each and every one of you, but you will know. You know what I'm talking about. It might be a relationship even. Um, or a family for some of you, because we have like three. Like a big one, a small one and a baby. <laughs> She's goofy, you guys. But yeah. What is your motivational mantra? You are surrounded by love. Yeah. Oh, and this is green like the plants. You are surrounded by love. Heart chakra, you guys. Maybe you want to work on that as well. And yeah, remember that your team is around you. Your ancestors. The universe. Again, I said that for power one, but I'm going to say it for you as well. Like, the universe is here. It supports you. Um, your higher self is here and supports you and I don't know if you think about multiple dimensions I think about it sometimes and when I do every time I do I feel like I'm connecting to all the other versions of myself and they're all rooting for me <laughs> just like I'm rooting for them as well Whatever they're doing in their dimensions, it's cool. And yeah, maybe you want to try that as well. I like think about it. If you believe in like parallel realities and like alternate dimensions and alternate di alternate realities and all of that, you are not alone, and you are very much loved. Like, be watching this, I love you. <laughs> Obviously, off and like, if you're part of the spirit squad, definitely got your back. So, you can pause the video, think of a yes and a question. The answer is need more info. I feel like we need a plan, pal, too. We need a plan. If this thing, for this thing you want to happen, we need to do more research, we need a plan. It doesn't mean no, it just means that we need to be more prepared. So, part two. That was your reading, I hope it resonates. Let me know, drop a comment, drop a like if it did. I would like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides and spirit for this beautiful reading. I will see you again very soon. But in the meantime, you already know, you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. Last but not least, power number three. If you choose the power with the green paper on top, that is the answer to your yes or no question. 
you have card number eight. So what is it that you need to focus on at this time? Ah, it's the car. You need to focus on your drive. You need to focus on where you want to go. Motivation. Motivation and discipline, I'm hearing. So for some of you, you um, are literally wanting to go somewhere or you are moving somewhere. Uh, for some of you, you might be getting a car. But yeah, stop looking in the rear view mirror. That's not where you're going. Focus on what to focus on what it is that you want and set realistic goals for yourself. Bigger goals and smaller goals for yourself. Just because it feels good to celebrate something. So once you have celebrated, once you have like reached a milestone, however big it is, celebrate it. Because that's going to also give you the heart to continue. And I'm also being pulled to this green heart chakra. Your paper is green. You guys. For some of you, it's about your heart space, like opening up your heart space. But I feel like most of you, it's gonna be like for you, opening up your heart space to yourself. Does that make sense? Feeling like you are worthy of things. You are worthy of good things happening to you. And remember what motivates you. Remember your why. Why are you doing this thing? Why do you want to do it? And yeah, of course, like we all want money and fame. <laughs> but deep down, what is it that you really, really want? I feel like this is connected to our inner child for most of us making a difference but yeah I'm gonna tell you what I said to Powell too which is have a plan if you don't already have one yet or if you have one but you have difficulty sticking to it um, then you need to tweak it basically you're gonna have to tweak it adjustments are for the better I'm hearing but again, because this is this has green, the other card is green, this is eight. Okay, I'm getting two things. I'm getting abundance. And I'm also getting the infinity symbol, like the magician. So remember that you you're in charge. You're in charge, you're in the driver's seat. That's it. You decide how good your life is. with the way that you choose to look at things through gratitude and also yeah like I say you're the magician so script things out make things happen into this reality because I, like I said you are worthy you are worthy and you can do this you have the vision hold the vision hold the motivation and take action put that on a t-shirt that was beautiful <laughs> so my dudes what is your motivational mantra for this full moon you are more than enough worthy more than enough dude I'm making shit up also you know I only play, I only use jumping cards and I didn't know that was there because I love to discover the cards with you so you are more than enough remember that pause the video if you need to this is going to be the answer to yes and a question again green what do we have reconsider okay so yeah i was telling you um plans schedules maybe 
they need tweaking. Something here needs tweaking a bit because it's outdated, it's not really working for you anymore. So, but you will know what that is. You will know because I feel like you've been trying to make this work for a while and it works for a little bit and then it stops working. So it needs to be more but precisely tailor-made for you. Really like sit down and the tailor make it to not only your needs but how you are as a person. And if you have already done that, then yeah, tweaking again, tweaking. So part number three, that was your reading. I hope it resonates. Let me know, drop a comment, drop a like if it did. I would like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides and spirit for this beautiful message. And I will see you again very soon, but in the meantime, you already know you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. Thank you.